If you want wonder in your life this afternoon, do a web search on couch and stuck. And I promise you that you will be left wondering. Couch and stuck. It's pretty amazing what human beings can do with couches and being stuck. But that's wonder, all right? That's wonder. You can get it from the back of a cereal box. But awe, awe is a little bit different. It's so easy to feel that we go through our lives somehow untouched by the reality around us. That's old cultural conditioning, telling us a lie. Your essence, your soul, you're not your body, this old programming tells us. You're going through life to go on to that higher reward that is a spiritual existence in the great chain of being. Again, I believe that is a lie. It's a lie that we are not untouched by and entangled in all that is. So, if you want some awe in your life, I say, try magic. And that is the other half of what our philosopher has been talking about. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can go buy magic cards. There's a card game called Magic, you know, and, uh, you know, some people get into levitating and demons and that kind of thing when you start talking about magic, but that's not real magic. Magic is about consciously using your mind to rewrite the stories in your head that tell you you are separate from the cosmos. That's the big lie. Rather, we are inextricably intertwined with all the rest of nature and in we're enmeshed in all that is. Perhaps ask yourself, who broke my relationship with nature? Sometime you're meditating at home, who broke my relationship with nature. Who told me that I wasn't part and parcel of everything? Who told me I had to go to a particular church to have a spiritual life? Who told me? And what am I going to do about that? Perhaps try to mend that broken relationship between the human and the environment. Our technology will not save us from our current situation, but our hearts and our minds might. I want to leave you with a uh, quote from the Stoic philosopher and Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. As you know, I really like his work. I see the Christianity that stamped out his way of thinking as a misstep in European thought. He had this to say, things coming into existence are not merely a string of things, but a wondrous series of relationships. A wondrous series of relationships. That is awe for you, and that's where the magic is.